Well, good evening, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for Scottsville 12, uh, 10 race program, Sunday the 9th. Unfortunately, I have to do this before tomorrow morning, so you must check on the beddings, check on the scratchings, check on everything. But um, I have to be in Durban tomorrow morning by 7.30, so catching a very early plane from here. Um, 22 pentrometer, 7.5 meter false rail. And um, this is the 11.35 first race of a 10 race program, 1200 meter work riders race. I'm going for one purple powerhouse. I think is well suited by the turf, well suited for the course and distance, run two places from two starts. Uh, the jockeys had a runner, had a winner, so that gives me confidence. The best rider in the race right six, Night Warrior, and I make him the danger, the Dennis Bosch inmate. Um, obviously, Trade War got form, but gets a very inexperienced rider, as does a tribute to you, gets a, a lady rider who probably claims uh, but I've never seen her ride, so I don't know if either of them can ride, and I therefore go with the ones that can ride. Race two, Maiden Juvenile Plate, 1,500 metres. I think left runner, number five, Lady Canton, is the right horse. Muzieni aboard it, head of the speed rating, lots to like about it. Big danger, Averni Princess, but the draw put me off number 12, Averni Princess. I make the one that uh, might be the best each way in the race, number seven, Miss Paget. Uh, Keegan DeMello for Alison Wright. I expect that to run very, very well. Race three, this is a juvenile plate, 1600. Well, the horse I bred, Rabbit Ash, who I think is quite a decent horse. Uh, there's no money for him. He was, he's had no winners from 11 runners um, in his form line. He's drawn 12, but um, he certainly seems to be able to settle, and he really runs on well. will be interesting to see how it goes. But Professor Lupin, the maiden, Got to go very well here. This horse has got very nice form. He just hasn't put his act together, but I think he's a really nice horse. Josephine's pride had a very good first start. Uh, completely unfancied. That worries me. Muzi rides it again. Let's see how it goes here. Seven down by the river is a danger. Billy of T number eight ran on and gets uh, gotten. Got to have a chance and accept temptation. Born 13, not in its favour. Race four, there's the first leg of the pick six, maiden plate, fillies and mares, a uh, thousand meters. Well, you've got to look at a first timer here. There's been money for number two, Zayera. Uh, number six, Infolezi, says Speedy, uh, Mace Roberts. Uh, the other first timers, there's no money for, but geez, the rest of them are really moderate. Really, really moderate. Uh, maybe Jane's Vision's the right horse with May, uh, from the Michael Roberts stable. So I'm going to take a chance and bank at Jane's Vision. Um, I think CF Tears, enough chances, full of magic, enough chances of two Gadsby horses, but they'll be competitive. Race uh, five, maiden plate, 1,200 metres. Uh, I like number 10, Plaza Court, 5 to 10, and so it should be a very, very nice first run in a pretty decent time, 58.71. So, what's the danger? Maybe number two, Dine Alley. This is bred to go twice this distance. Um, and by a flower rally out of a dynasty mare, but positive comment from the stable. Nothing else grabs the fancy. Race six, maiden plate, 1,200 metres, uh, three-corner contest, 10 is my top choice. That is Master Josh, very good form. Muzieni gets a leg up and should go extremely well. Uh, 12, I uh, thought this was a runner. Uh, Kumamori from the Garth Puller stable, three very good runs. Uh, Serena Moodley sticks with the ride. 13, Gorgeous Guy, I think will go well. And 16, this is what it means. Also got to have a chance um, from the outside crawl. Uh, the find of the race would be Quixote. Ignore his last run completely. This will run well here. And um, number one, good work include from Stuart Ferry. Uh, he knows what's about. He would uh, know whether a horse can run or not. So that might be worth including in jackpots. Now remember, jackpot... First time a rule doesn't apply. Race seven. Merry rated handicap, 69, fillies and mares. I'm going with number two a little bit naughty. I think there's absolutely right. They've come back and trip, back and trip, back and trip. Now they're going the 1,200. And as long as a young Gates can get this within two or three lengths of them going through the 400 meter mark and get a clear run, he will go well. But wow, this is a big field. Anything can happen. Chelsea Blue. 13 Royal Aces with Keegan DeMello. Always take note when Keegan DeMello rides for Corinne Bestel. Look like dangers. 
race eight. This is a um, uh, thousand meter, um, and uh, for the fillies and mares, I thought absolute three corner contest. One eye, Emily. Well, the last run was very good. She'd been on a, a, a multiple run of wins, and she should have been very close. Three Sabatini gets the blinkers. This might be what this uh, filly's looking for. I think she's got ability. Expect her to go well. I uh, hope the jockey booking works out. And seven, get in the queue. Love Scott's full, put her in your play. Kalula also got some sort of chance, number eight. Nine, thousand meter. This is a Phillies, um, Phillies and Mayors handicap. I make three corner contest. Five, Mists in Scotland. And seven, the two K captains, Christy. The two two year olds look like they should fight it out. The big improver is Stingray. Look for Stingray to run well. Gets Richard for for Tini Prince. Always make a note of that jockey booking. Race 10. This is um, the maiden plate. They go 1750. Very competitive. I'm going for Red Piano to get it right. He's turning four. He's had multiple starts, but he gets muzzy and lots to like about his form. Um, Johnny the Thief. Um, I don't know who it's named after, but um, drawn seven. At least it's not uh, someone else I know called the Thief. Aberdeen, number two. Look for a good run from this one. Daryl Daniels gets a chance. I don't think he's ridden a winner for a very, very long time, Daryl. Glenn Codson's giving him a chance. Nice to see, and I hope he goes well. The danger and the outside in this race is seven safe space. I remember I gave it to you last time, and it didn't run that badly. Expect it to run really, really well here, safe space. That's the big danger. So from me, James Goodman, until um, Monday, have a great Sunday. And um, it's been a very, very interesting uh, cricket. And congratulations to the Springboks on an absolutely fabulous win. Wow, they do look impressive. And they, they haven't even got their first side, but they played the Wallabies into a complete hole. Nice to see.